All right, we have a visit this morning from some, I guess you could say, your concerned teachers. I'm not going to say you're you're from New Bedford. I'm not going to say what school you teach at, but well, the floor is yours. What what uh, we have four teachers here from a New Bedford school. Let me ask you this one question before we get into everything. What we're about to hear, have you approached your principal about what we're about to hear? Yeah, I mean, not just our principal, but we've talked to members of the community, um, authorities in the community. Um, we've talked to a lot of people, uh, not just our principal. We're not about attacking any one person in the city or the district. This isn't about people in power. It's about policy. So it's not about the mayor. It's not about the superintendent. These policies need to change no matter who's there. You're afraid of repercussions about coming in here, so we're hiding your identity. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of some somebody from the administration coming after you or students? Administration. We are teachers in the New Bedford School District that have concerns about the direction that the district is going in at this point. And we feel that the impression that is being put out to the public is not exactly the situation in the schools. We've spoken with many, many colleagues from all the different schools throughout the district. The feelings seem to be the same throughout, that there's a lot of problems in the schools that are not being addressed. All right, so one of the things that you guys were going to talk about was something that's going on in the Gold House at the high school. One of the things that has been reported um, from the high school is they have a section of the high school that's closed down. Um, and that section of the high school is where it basically kids are going and um, meeting up to have fights um, because there's no one around to watch and the school's pretty much closed down. So it, they're knocked down, drag out brawls in there or one-on-one -on -one and a lot of like girl fighting and because there is no one in there observing or watch keeping watch on this section of the building it's also been reported that there is a lot of sexual activity going on in that particular part of the building during the school day also three weeks ago uh, there was a classroom that was totally disseminated by 11 students they tore the room to pieces at new bedford high school also and all 11 of those students were put on a suspension. There should have been maybe a steeper penalty for what they did than just a suspension. And earlier this year, not too long ago, over the last few months, there were um, three girls that were found in one of the closed classrooms. And a teacher happened to be walking by, or one of the staff members, and thought that they saw smoke coming from under the door. And they opened the door, confronted the three girls, and the teacher was assaulted by the girls. You know, these things are happening because we're not dealing with it at a base level. In other words, it's all about instruction. And so we are told when we come into a classroom, we're teaching from bell to bell, okay, academics. When are these kids and where are these kids learning how to act in a classroom? That's number one. Number two, uh, where are these kids seeing other students, examples of other students, for having consequences for their actions um, on a regular basis so that they are deterred from doing the same, mm -hmm. right? And then number three, okay, so these things, we live in an, the city of New Bedford, this is an urban district, it's systemic and it's nationwide we're seeing these issues. Brockton, Fall River, both have expansive um, alternative sites, um, alternative programs. And so, yes, then, okay, now let's talk about alternative sites for students who can't come to terms with being in the regular setting. It's, it's not just the one thing. It's, it's all piece of puzzle has to fit together. We don't want to just send kids out of our classrooms. Right. We want to teach our students. But we understand there are the few that aren't getting the message. And so let's teach them. And if they still don't get the message, well, there's got to be another place for them. Okay, we have four New Bedford teachers in here talking about concerns that they have about some things that are happening in the New Bedford school system. We're going to hear about a physical assault that happened to one of these ladies sitting right here this school year by a student, and it has not hit the papers. It has not hit the news. We'll talk about that coming up next on Fun 107.